What is going on, mortals? Mortal T here, and today we have got some good news, bad news uh, stuff to be getting on with. With some more information of what is going to be coming in the next couple of weeks, and so on and so forth. But let's just get straight to it with some of the good news. Now, this is only good news for Xbox at this moment in time. So, an update has dropped for the Xbox. Xbox fixing a couple of things as Jeff tweeted here the Xbox hot fix went live a little while ago guys if you haven't already re uh, haven't already got it restart your console and the patch wasn't that big it's only 170 megabytes it's just fixes to uh, fix the games what it says it is so this is what we got these are the fixes so we've got the outer memory fix which is really really uh, important especially people play on official servers and dedicated servers if you have got a big base with a lot of dinos in it you would have got constantly got this crash but it looks like they have fixed it it was due to the amount of dinos you had and how much they had to load in because they have if you haven't noticed been increasing the the quality of the dinosaurs they are starting to look a hell of a lot better and with that quality increasing all the time it takes more and more memory so they have found a temporary fix for it and the hopefully in the future they'll find a more streamlined way to do it properly now they've also fixed some single player creature spawns becoming dependent uh, depleted over time as they did not come out of hibernation properly I have noticed that on single player as well there isn't there doesn't seem to be a lot of dinos spawning which is unusual because single player is usually really good for loaded dinosaurs but yeah so let's hope that has properly been fixed. Fixed for not being able to put down shoulder mounts. And fix the inventory not displaying properly. Now I hope this fix means that when you go into your inventory, you see all the folders, but then it's got a massive space with loads of slots in where nothing is, and you have to scroll all the way down just to see what you've actually got into the inventory. I hope that that is what they mean by the fix. So that is the good news really for xbox um but we're gonna go on to the bad news now with these fixes coming it means that the ps4 will be getting the update hopefully soon but i did a video a video and it was saying ragnarok delayed and Ragnarok has been delayed yet again mortals yes it has been delayed yet again it is now the ETA is now July the 19th so they did say the week of the 10th of July but now they've pushed it back even further to the 19th and I think this is something to do with because the PC are getting updates on Ragnarok itself because Ragnarok is not a completed map they did say Ragnarok was only like 50% complete so the map has to update itself every now and again as it progresses uh, into becoming a final finished map so hopefully I believe they have pushed this back because there is an update due to come to Ragnarok um, to make it like better to get it more finalized so i think that is a reason why they pushed it back they didn't want to roll out the ragnarok then like a day or two later try and push a patch through microsoft and sony just to update it that is the only th reason i can think of that they pushed it back well the other reasons are all the bugs obviously that came with the most recent update well, if we take a, uh, take a look at the PS4 patch notes, the the update that will be hitting PS4 is should the ETA that means estimated time of arrival is hopefully the 12th of July. Now we can only hope it is the 10th of July. Okay, we can only hope. 
because so many dates have been pushed back and back and back we can only hope that it does definitely come out for the 12th of july for the ps4 but the ps4 will be getting three updates in one the xbox had two updates in one because there is another pc update coming out before the ps4 get the update the ps4 will be getting that pc update as well and it, it includes a hell of a lot more fixes and so on and so forth we've got a list right here this is the upcoming update for the pc and as you can see there's just an absolute ton more of fixes and tweaks here and there and so much more that the ps4 is going to get in one update they're going to be getting three updates in one now i'm guessing that that update is going to be big it probably is going to be big and it's probably take, going to take a while to download but you're going to get so many fixes and hopefully the, with the bugs that they're tweaking now on the xbox version when they port it over to ps4 you will no longer have any of the bugs it should just run good let's just hope that let's hope they have pulled the fingers out their bums and actually managed to do this but yeah that is the next eta for the next ps4 update so moving on to what uh jack did tweet where did i go where did it go he said here all right this should clear up what is coming on the next week or so and it is called the state of arc updates and this is some reading to get through uh, we're going to ignore the bits he just, he just apologizes they haven't done this for a while so 4th of july ragnarok update for the consoles has been postponed to the 19th of july the Xbox have received a hotfix today to resolve an Ingram issue. An out of memory crash related to dino meshes, hence origami dinos. If you don't know what origami is, it's where you fold paper and stuff, but it, you get weird shaped when your dinos don't load in properly. The critical spawn fixes for the hibernation system actively uh, currently active on single player and non-dedicated servers that's the patch that the xbox has received this wasn't a big patch but a small one aiming to resolve these critical problems which were severely impacting many players able to play the game which it was it was mostly affecting um, official servers if you're in a big tribe if you played a official service for a while and you're in a big tribe you have a lot of dinos it was causing major problems from so that is why the hot fo hot fix was needed as quick as possible but also as good as possible so they have to work on it for some time We've induced, uh, introduced a measure which will control how the memory is allocated and streamed, therefore resulting in people seeing origami looking creatures in their base. This is because the amount of memory allocated for mesh streaming has already been used, though as you unload memory through playing, New things will get updated and will process the origami looking to high quality. It takes about two minutes for everything to unload completely. Really nice. They're basically just saying that the, obviously this won't affect small bases because they don't have the many dinos. So yeah, that's about it. But for big bases, this was a huge, huge problem. And to be honest with you, even on single player, when you first loaded in, it, it it does get a bit jittery. It just does. And even sometimes on single player, the dinos don't load quite as well. But it looks like they are trying to figure this out. When can we expect the next set of updates? So, we are currently working on a new major major version for the pc we hopefully be able to release that very early morning eastern time on the 5th of july or a bit later as you or a bit later concentrate concentrate on that bit or a bit later 
It will be similar to the other patches and contain a number of bug fixes, QOL changes and some gameplay related changes. Once we get that out on PC we'll be doing a port over to Xbox and we're aiming for that to come out Friday the 7th. Obviously these are all ETAs which is estimated time of arrivals and depending on what happens the time can change but that is what they're aiming for. So yes, now, don't worry PS4 we've got a little section down here and now they only said here they're porting it over to Xbox uh, because they're not going to bring the update for PS4 until everything is resolved for Xbox itself. So it does, we've got a little section to say, what about PS4? Right. Right now, our main focus is getting the Xbox in a good state. And then we'll be able to port over the changes to PS4. We're doing a lot of hard work now. So that progress will be smoother later on. And we expect to drop that update around about the 12th of July. This will get all three versions of the uh, game to generally be the same slash on the same version etc. From there we'll be working on wrapping up a Ragnarok on console and it's likely the PC version will also receive an update and yes consoles w uh, would get the same version of Ragnarok that is on PC. So Ragnarok. I know you guys are frustrated by the delays, believe me, we're disappointed too. However, the work we're doing now is better for both the long term and short term health of the game's development. Delays suck, let's face it. We thought we would be able to hit our target release dates better this month, but unfortunately, that wasn't the case. It is much more important for us and beneficial for you with Ragnarok having a delay to the 19th of July so we can focus on wrapping up these console builds and getting those versions of the game in excellent state. So they basically explained why Ragnarok Bot has been delayed. They want to get everything fixed before they push another big update onto us. Rest assured we will get the map you will get the map as well as all the other fixes and improvements you'll just need to wait a bit longer and this little bit down here is basically just uh, you, it's basically a forum where you go and if you find any bugs on single player you'll go to this forum and you can well comment and say what bugs you have found and then they'll try and fix them so yeah that is like the state of arc at the moment what is happening what is hopefully to come what they're doing about everything else it informed me quite a lot to be fair i'm glad they got this information out i know most of the people still won't be happy that ragnarok did, got delayed yet again but to me i'm not too bothered as long as they try and keep on improving the game i'm not really I'm not really bothered about content yet so that is it mortals that's all the information i've got we've covered uh the update that xbox got which was just a hot fix we have covered the next coming updates for xbox and ps4 and we've covered why they have delayed it what can we expect and so on and so forth we've covered a lot of stuff <laughs> in this video and i hope you mortals found it very informative and if you did don't forget to show that like button who's boss by punching it in the face and if you're new to the channel don't forget to click that subscribe button and as always mortals don't forget to share it with your family and your friends and around the world that is it i am mortal t and i am out